Right, welcome to episode 12 of Steel Man, which is one better than iron. I have just got myself a medium clue scroll while I'm at the cockroach soldiers trying to hunt more monies. Right, well I came here just to try and get some money up, but that is 60 strength, which means I can now use the Argonite Maul. Uh, at least I think that's still a strength requirement, but the Obby Maul as well. And we're going to go back to training attack until we can get to 80 on that, but that's 60-60. So this is my plan to get some Vergali, however that's going to be pronounced, uh, it'll change every time I say it, for my uh, crafting potion daily. I'm killing these for it. Uh, they do drop quite a few seeds, or at least the seeds seem to be more common, um, as I, I swear I get them back to back whenever I get them at all. Um, I just don't have the farming level to plant them yet. But this will be where, see, and again, this will be where I do get them. I also managed to get a rampage daily done in the process, but this will be where I go until I get myself 10 herbs, and then I'm going to do the crafting potion daily. Well, it took an annoying amount of time in total, but the last one took a long time anyway. Um, but I've managed to get finally get my 10 herbs that I need. In the process, I got 26 seeds. Apparently, the seeds are uncommon and the herbs are common. I don't believe that unless my Ring of Wealth is actually really good. Uh, well, I got no more herbs from that, but that is the end of these trips. I managed to get 253 nature runes doing this, and 60 to 62 attack. So these are actually pretty good generally, and if you can farm the Vergali, or the list, whatever those seeds are, this is actually a really good way to get them. If you can't, it's slow and tedious and boring, but good nature runes. Frog spawn. Uh, we got 43 herb lore from the actual task let's turn this in finally and we've got to oh another 11k from that and we got the rampage one as well so we jumped up to 45 herb lore. we got a grimy torso that's not the most useful thing in the world and then we'll take the free xp in range i guess right casket in the longest medium clue i've ever done another air battle staff an earth battle staff that's not too useful it's not the best reward, but we've got to place harder air battle staff, we'll take it. Right, and we've just logged in on a new day, and we've got ourselves a crafting potion daily again. So, first thing I'm going to do is going to go back to ants and try and get 10 Virgily again. Uh, just doing these for the Virgily herbs, and I've managed to get myself another clue scroll. Okay, so I dropped this clue because I needed a uh, snakeskin boots, and instantly, the very next kill, I get this clue instead. So, um... Now we've got this one going, hopefully I can actually do that one, and hopefully it won't put me off with the snakeskin boots. Alright, so that's this Herb Lord Daily done again. And the reward was 11k last time, it's 13k this time because I'm a higher level. Uh, it's put me up two levels again, level level 47, and another grimy torstall from it. I'm, I'm starting to get a theme here. I just came across this meteorite that I've just been mining. Um, it's just opened up here, we got ourselves a star sprite, although it's not a star, this really bugs me about the game. And we've got ourselves a whopping 20 gold ore and 50k cash from that. I'm quite happy with that. Definitely worth doing these on an Iron Man. Alright, 15k XP from this quest. If it comes up with the thing ever. There we go. Oh, okay, I, I flicked off of it. That's Watchtower done. Got me to 71 magic and actually let me do my clue scroll, which was the main goal. I can now get to Watchtower teleport, which is a really useful thing that hasn't at all been replaced by lodestones or anything. Right, I'm probably the last step of this clue. I need some snakeskin chaps. Um, that is four quests away, or three quests away, and a bit of luck, or a lot of luck away. Um, it's only a med clue. I can't be bothered to deal with those. I've already had to do watchtower for this clue scroll. I'm just going to accept that that clue scroll is a dick, and I've now dropped it. God stats for this month. Got two construction levels out of it, and this prayer level here taking me to 48. Troll invasion done. First time I managed it because I missed it last month because I'm amazing. Uh, 17k herblore XP from that, and that's taken me to level 49. Right, I got another herblore daily today, but today instead of it being crafting potions again, which is horrible, I need to make super antis, which requires irits, which is why I'm here. Um, bit of a warning if you do need to come here yourself. Every single world is botted quite heavily, bar the legacy only ones. So, if you need to come here, try to stay on legacy or you're going to have quite a difficult time. But that's 40 range at least, meaning I'm now only 3 skills under level 40. But just before I do the Herblord daily today, I'm going to buy this scroll. I bought the scroll of life yesterday. Um, 
where are we? Is it that one? Scroll of efficiency, scroll of cleansing. Is that the herb one? It is. Um, I'm just going to spend pretty much all my tokens on that. Um, I'm going to have to just do more dungeoneering anyway for these tokens, and I figure getting these scrolls is going to be more useful the quicker you get them. So hopefully I can save some secondaries or just some herbs itself while doing this. Success! We saved a herb. And we've got 19k for this, that's pretty good. And up to level 51. I'm going to bet you anything this is a grimy torstal. Oh, two grimy dwarfoids. Oh, somebody should have called that bet. Maybe you did. Oh well. And 6k agility XP for that one when I eventually did that. Alright, and with that floor, we've managed to hit 70 dungeoneering. This is my second level 70 stat, and also a great progress in our quest for tokens. A cult. And just as a note to anybody who uh, wanted to make the same mistake as I did, um, you need level 50 to go down here. Even if you've got level 50, um, I can't go down that. Despite I'm level 50 over 47, you need actual level 50. You can't boost it. So I've wasted um, a perfectly good agility potion here, which I can't really remember how I got. While I was at Grotworms trying to get a flax drop, uh, it didn't work out for me. Uh, but I did get a few alkables, which I shall now alk, although I'm going to sell the javelins and then we'll alk the rest. Let's just see how much we make from this. I've emptied my coin pouch. Alright, 267k from all those. That's actually pretty good. I was expecting a lot lower than that. Alright, I've completed all the easy tasks for Varric. And there's two reasons I wanted to do this. Uh, not just the lamp and the armor, although, you know, obviously that is a bonus. Um, one, to get the furnace in Edgeville, which could be more useful if I'm doing a lot of uh, gold smithing, which will happen at some point, I'd imagine. Uh, but also, and possibly more importantly, I can now get more... Uh, I think it's eight more for the easy tasks. Uh, battle staffs from Naf or Zaf. I think it's Naf. Um, and I've still got all those water orbs from the water fiends that I did. And that's 58 crafting. And that is significant, trust me. Alright, so if I just take this convenient extra wurgly leaf that I have and this conveniently extra frog spawn that I have, it's almost like I planned this. Then I can make myself a crafting potion for my own use rather than for a daily. Then I can drink it and craft myself a batwing wand. And so now we've got a level 50 wand. Right, we came here at Steel Dragons. We've managed to get ourselves a clue scroll. It's a hard one. If I can complete this, it means it was worth dropping the med. Right, and from that trip, I've managed to get 175k cash just from the Alks, uh, as well as however much that all sells for, and that many charms, which I'm quite happy about. The clue that I've got is the Jewel Arena one. At this point, I'm not entirely sure if I can even do it on an Iron Man good fight not an iron man had to use assistance right hard casket okay that's not too bad that's really not bad at all i don't care for the zamorak stall but that's uh, like 100k in alks yeah i'll take that 